Hello friends. We are going to learn concept of memory allocation, fragmentation, paging, segmentation, virtual memory and threshing. Okay. This is a basic overview of the, of the functionality of OS. Okay. So first of all, we have to see some basic points. We want memory which has larger size and has less access time. But if, if we increase size of memory, then its access time will also increase. It's a problem. Okay, as we as you can see that uh, but day by day, uh, memory is increasing. Uh, RAM uh, size of RAM are increasing from earlier to 56 MB. Now it has come to 4 GB and 16 GB. So size of memory is increasing day by day for easy uh, for easier execution of and for making user user friendly with the execution task okay so OS assigned jobs basically jobs have predefined sequence which are executed on the basis of first come first serve algorithms and the basic overview is that this is RAM and this is our secondary memory secondary memory memory is basically hard disk large storage devices which contains lots of data okay so here you can see I have made small blocks these are just programs or instruction codes and this is RAM RAM is the random access memory it, you can say it is main memory or primary memory every data or our instruction which is executed is first of all it has to be bring it has to be brought to RAM or primary memory in order to execute it no program gets self executed in secondary memory it has to be loaded to to RAM or main memory in order to execute it. Okay, this is the basic functionality as we know that. So, here we have written that program or instruction is executed when it is brought into main memory or primary memory as I have as I am told. It will not going to be executed itself when it is present in secondary memory. A program that is loaded into main memory and is executed is commonly referred to as process. Okay, when a program is loaded in main memory as we have seen when program is loaded in for, uh, when loaded in RAM or primary memory from secondary memory then the program load uh, program get loaded into RAM then its execution st starts so execution of a program is basically known as process okay in terms of OS language so first of all we have some basic things which are the earlier problems or this led to the rise of paging concept memory location what do you mean by memory location you have to as you can see these small blocks or instruction codes need to be loaded in ram or in main memory then they get executed so here they have to be so these instructions must have to get some space or memory allocation in ram so their their uh, so the allocation of memory to these process is basically memory location so these are mainly of two types contiguous, contiguous memory location and non contiguous memory location. So in contiguous memory location, this is the oldest schemes when a process needs to be executed, it makes request from the uh, when a process needs to execute uh, memory is requested by the process or process request memory in order to get uh, in order to get available memory space in main memory and then it get executed. So the size of the process is compared with the amount of contiguous main memory available to the execute the process. Okay. So there is a actually a problem with contiguous memory location that is known as external fragmentation. We will see it in our next slide here. Suppose this is example of contiguous memory location. You can set it as array or just suppose if this is main memory. This is main memory or 10 kb memory block and this is our incoming process 5 kb process 2 so this needs to be executed so it makes request to main memory to allocate space so here as you can see uh, there is a 2 kb process which is occupied by a, some process called process 1 and this process is of size 5 KB and this is process 2. 
it needs to be executed but this is total 10 kb memory block and 2 kb is occupied so only 4 kb 4 kb total 8 kb memory space is available hence you can see that it is only of 5 kb and we have total 8 kb still it is not going to take or uh, it is not going to take any memory location here why because it needs contiguous 5 kb memory location but here only 4 kb contiguous memory location is available and 2 kb is here breaked or you can say this is just used by some another process and here 4 kb as you can see there is total 8 kb memory location but this this needs 5 kb memory location with contiguous memory blocks and here there is here and and here the situation is not good for it or so it will not going to take memory location and it has to wait when 2 kb process 1 will complete its task or will complete finish its execution so this is problem uh, so another type of memory location is non contiguous memory location here the concept of paging arises and now you can understand with the example of linked list in linked list every node is linked to another node with the help of memory address so here is something some concept similar to that here basic the concept of paging arise actually what happens as you can see this is our 10 kb memory block it is divided into number of equal section okay and this is our program or process 2 which is of 5 kb and as you can see 2 kb store occupied by some another process called process 1 as we have earlier seen that this is 2 kb 4 kb 4 kb and 5 kb this is the same scenario here 4 kb memory space is there and here 4 kb memory space is free only 2 kb is occupied and this is process of 5 kb so here you have you are watching that these are some divided into segments okay so basically the concept of paging is related to non contiguous memory location what happens in it secondary memory is divided into small number of fragments that is uniform and of equal size and that are known as pages and similarly main memory is also divided into equal number of segments and these are called frames and their size is equal to the size of page okay so when a process is going to be executed it is divided into number of pages specific number of pages as you can see it is divided into five number of pages so and here there are total 10 frames and two frames are occupied by uh, 2k 2kb or two frames are occupied by some another process so it has to get memory location in main memory for execution of process one so it will easily occupy 4kb here and 1kb here because it is now supporting non-contiguous memory location as you can see 4kb is occupied by occupied in these four frames and one frame is occupied by another uh, page or incoming process so process is divided into equal number of fragments and it occupies e available frames because it don't needs to conserve it don't needs to care about contiguous memory location it can go anywhere in memory it can occupy any available space in memory so this is the concept of paging and this is the concept of non contiguous memory location but here also some condition occurs like when we where wastage of memory uh, free space or memory so that is cleared by defragmentation you all aware with defragmentation defragmentation is the process of locating the non contiguous fragments of data into which a computer file may be divided as it is stored on the hard disk and rearranging the fragments and restoring them into fewer fragments or into whole file okay this is basically with uh, secondary storage device which a computer file may be divided as it is stored on the hard disk okay so it may it may takes time okay so i hope you like this video